So a bell went off and I thought, you know, we have a lot of public policy issues in this country. We have a lot of solitudes. Uh, business doesn't understand the trade union movement, thinks they're a bunch of, uh, all they want is more and more and more. The trade union movement thinks the business people are a bunch of bandits. No one understands government much. The business people think they're kind of ignorant. Uh, not interested in wealth creation, not interested in just distribution. Uh, we had a problem, at least from my perspective, uh, in Canada about trying to get some consensus about the direction of public policy. These were the fairly early still Trudeau years. So we started a third wing of this, a third phase, which had to do with looking at certain public issues and engaging our constituencies, which hmm, we had to be larger than life. I just said we're business, government, labor, and where it was appropriate, the voluntary sector broadly defined would play into it as universities, or NGOs, and so on. So before too long, and this was early days in Canada in consultation, we developed a reputation of being a reliable place to pull together folk, senior folk, CEOs, deputy ministers, politicians to some extent, trade union leaders, etc. from Canada and the United States, where, where appropriate, elsewhere sometimes, to deal with pressing public issues. So that got us into all kinds of things that was interesting, and we were kind of the first to, to broach it. In those days, there were a number of public policy bodies. The C.D. Howe was key on the public policy research side. The Institute for Research and Public Policy had just been formed on the public policy research side. Uh, the conference board was around, kind of modeled after the U.S. conference board. And we were all, to some extent, asking for support from the same constituencies, business in particular. So three of us got together and said, look, we should rationalize this a bit. And Carl Beggy, who was running the, the, the C.D. Howe in, in, the, in uh, Montreal at that time, and Bob Cotre was running the conference board, and I got together and thought, well, we should do something about rationalizing what we're doing. We, we the Niagara Institute, were kind of the consultative ones. We were the meeting place, if you like, and to some extent the catalyst. And what we needed, in some cases, was public policy input, research, etc. And that resulted in a number of partnerships and relationships and meetings and consultation processes and so on that were really quite productive. And a group that actually at its apex, I think, had 22 NGOs in Canada interested in public policy involved. I remember a meeting we hosted, where I think there were 22 that showed up from across the country. The Atlantic Provinces Economic Council, um, groups in BC, Alberta, every province was really represented. It was really quite interesting. And uh, it was really, in some respects, the genesis of a fairly vibrant public policy culture in Canada. So that was, that was kind of interesting.